Do you mind providing sort of a, a brief overview on, you know, why you sort of selected sprinting, jumping and lifting as something that you value, I guess? I think I found that that, for me, that was something that just, just really made a difference in me and has really influenced the way I coach now. And, um, you know, sprinting, off, you know, we, we all know how to squat, you know. We all know, okay, we're going to push our knees out, we're going to push our hips back, keep our chest up. Etc. All those sorts of things, but I think when it comes to sprinting, um, I've really found that you, you've got to really take the the athletes, take the coaches back, and really start to really start from start from scratch with the fundamentals there. So, you know, I, and that's what I, I've really enjoyed. I, I ran a course here up here in Brisbane at the start of the year with a with a few strength and conditioning coaches, um, and 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 just. T- teaching them, you know, the, the 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 why behind why you do this, why you do this drill, why you do that drill. Does speed in sprinting, is it based on genetics, do you think, or uh, can a coach help an athlete run faster? Um, I, I, a coach can definitely help um, an athlete run faster. How fast? Um, you know, how high, how, fa- how high is that ceiling? Um, I'm not sure, but you can definitely make a, an athlete run faster by some good technical um, changes. Um, yeah, it just, you know, like you can get a kid to run fast and they'll run fast just by training and running and training poorly technically. Um, but how fast they'll, they'll get, um, they might, there'll be a, more of a limitation. They'll probably end up with more, ha- more injuries, more hamstring injuries if they're running technically poor. So therefore, they probably won't get, you know, they'll be end up half time injured. So, running technically better, they're going to be able to run for get consistency in their training for longer, and they're going to their body will adapt to the the neuro neuromuscular um, adaptations as well from that. So yeah, you can definitely run run faster. How fast is going to be limited by their genetics, I suppose. From a vertical point of view, when sprinting, what are, what are some key areas that you like to? That you commonly see us as common mistakes and oh and yeah, yeah, yeah. i think i think you know mm-hmm. you know maximum velocity you know verticals you know that vertical sprinting um or you know in a vertical position um yeah you, you're gonna see trail leg you know you know swing leg behind the knee on touchdown that's probably the the, the key and the easiest thing to to see um if you can see that um they're the things you've got to try to fix up if, because if you can fix that up, you know, it's a bit of a chicken chicken and egg um, scenario, which was first. So um, there, there's two sides the way I like to attack that. That is, you know, they've got to learn to pick up. So pick the foot up and pick it up quickly and aggressively off the ground. Are you sort of your favourite, I guess, ways of programming jumping? Is it Does it happen at the start of the session after a warm-up? Is it after running sessions, um, yeah, talk us through where, where jumping comes into your program and also some of your favourite drills to to do for athletes who want to improve their explosive power. Um, yeah, look, I like to have it at the start of the session. Um, you know, if I had a – I remember being at Port Adelaide back in 09, 10, and um, that was, a you know, the Ruckmans. The, the Ruckmans wanted to get jump higher, the uh, – the the key some of the key um key backmen want they wanted to jump higher and that was that for me that was that was at the start of the the strength sessions and we go out into the court and we do some other um jumping drills just you know whether it was um vertical jump um drills you know single leg takeoffs double leg takeoffs all that sort of stuff what would be your favorite sort of compound lifts um, oh. lower body oh. Yeah, I, I suppose you just can't go past you know the the you know traditional you know if you can if you've got the time and the opportunity to teach you know cleans you can't teach cleans clean pulls um, it, yeah, if you um, squats are great um, step ups are great um, you know I always lo- always like to do deadlifts um, you know you're going to go to the trap bar deadlifts these days especially you know now that you've got them you know we didn't even have them back in the day. Uh, feels feel old now um but you know that that those sorts of things any any sort of you know high force is just going to make a, a a huge impact